Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope all of you are fine. Yes. And today is a weekend day. Yes. Tomorrow, all of you would be having holiday, so you would enjoy and play. Yes, on Sunday. Yes. So with this, let me start our social science class. Yes, because tomorrow is holiday, but today we have to study because today is Saturday. Yes, and we have to do our studies. Yes. So with this, let me start our social science class. And in social science, before going or starting starting discussion of chapter eleven, let me share one fact with you. A fact about health. Yes, staying in touch with family and friends in, is good for your health, memory, and longevity. So, students, it's very important to be in touch with your family, friends, and well wishers because it is good for your health, memory, and longevity. Okay. So remember it. You should always be in touch with your friends and relatives and the family members. With this, let. Do you enjoy it? Yes. So with this, let me start our social science class. And today is twenty fifth July two thousand twenty. And we were doing discussion of chapter number eleven, healthcare. We have already completed the chapter explanation discussion. Yes, today we will do the book exercise. We will do the word power. We will do latest recall, and we will do the book exercise. Yes, so fast take out your books so that we can do the book exercise. Okay, and the book exercise you have to do in the notebook in the social science book. Yes, and word power. Let us recall. You have to write in the social science notebook. Okay, students. So let's start with social science class. Bring your book and notebook both with you. So first of all, you have to write word power in social science notebook. So the first word power is antibiotics. Antibiotics. are substances that kills germs and cures the infection okay second word power antiseptic a substance that help to prevent infection in wounds by killing germs so wounds are the injured place yes the injured place where the you get injury So antiseptic is a substance that help to prevent infection in wounds by killing germs. Pasteurization. What is pasteurization, students? A process used to kill germs in milk first by heating and then cooling it is known as pasteurization. Yes. So now let us recall this. Also, you have to write in social science notebook. The clinical thermometer is an instrument used to measure the temperature of the body. The stethoscope is used by doctors to listen to the heartbeat and breathing. We can see germs through the microscope. Many vaccines and medicines have been developed not only to cure but also to prevent diseases. Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin it was the first antibiotic edward jenner discovered the anti smallpox vaccine we must follow all the rules of basic health care so all these points you have to write in the social science notebook okay students let's move to the book exercise book exercise part a tick the correct answer tick the right answer the first question is the normal temperature of the human body is and the options are 39 degrees celsius 37 degrees celsius 28 degrees celsius what is the correct answer students tell me fast i am waiting for your answer and the answer is 37 degrees celsius this is the normal temperature of the human body second what instrument is used to check the heart and lungs what is the instrument which is the instrument which is used to check the heart and lungs 
tell me and the options are thermometer, telescope, stethoscope. What is the answer? And the answer for this is stethoscope. Yes, stethoscope is an instrument which is used to check the heartbeats and the lungs. Yes, now we will move to the third take the correct. Vaccination was discovered by Joseph Lister, Edward Jenner, James Simpson. Tell me what is the answer? Who discovered vaccination? Then the answer is Edward Jenner. Yes, he discovered the vaccination and the anti-smallpox vaccination. Yes, the process of, to perform operation without cutting up the body is called what is the process which is, is to perform operation without cutting up the body is called laser operation, transplantation or x-rays. Tell me fast. I know all of you know the answer. Yes. So the answer is laser. Okay students. Now we will move to the B part of book exercise. Fill in the blanks. First fill in the blanks. Dash is used to make small objects look larger. What is that thing which is used to make small objects look larger? That is microscope. Yes, microscope is used to make small objects look larger through which we, are, we were able to see bacteria, viruses which we cannot see with our naked eyes. Yes, second fill in the blanks. Dash was discovered by Alexander Fleming. What is the thing? What was discovered by Alexander Fleming? Tell me fast. Penicillin. Yes. A first antibiotic. Penicillin was discovered by Alexander Fleming. Third fill in the blanks. Dash are used to locate fractures. What? For, by what we can, we can, you know, we, we can know that the fracture is there in our body. Which, what instrument tell us that there is a fracture in our body? And the answer is X-rays. Yes. Now we will move to the fourth fill in the blanks. Dash is used to perform operations without cutting the body. This I have told you right now only. Yes, in the earlier slide. What is that? Laser. Laser is used to perform operations without cutting the body. Yes. Laser light is used. Yes. Now we will move to fifth fill in the blanks. The technique of killing germs by heating is called. Tell me fast. The technique of killing germs by heat is called pasteurization. Yes. So write a correct spelling in the in the book. Pasteurization. See from here. I will share the PDF with you, and you have you can see from there. You should write the correct spellings of you know everything, and learn also the correct spelling. Now we will move to the part C of book exercise chapter eleven. Write true and false for the statements. Mercury is used in a thermometer. Is it this statement is true or false? Mercury is used in a thermometer. The statement is true. Yes, mercury is used in a thermometer. Now, second statement: modern surgery is quite unsafe. Is it true or false that modern surgery, modern operations are quite safe or unsafe? It is saying it is quite unsafe. So, the statement is false. Modern surgery is quite safe. Yes. Third statement. Diseases are caused by evil spirits. This statement is true or false? That the diseases, the illnesses which are caused, are caused by evil spirits. Yes, bad spirits. So, the statement is false. The diseases are caused because there is something wrong which is going on in our body. Yes. We, and the doctors detect that cause for the disease and give us medicines to cure that disease. Yes? Now the fourth statement. Heating kills the germs. Is it right or wrong? Heating kills the germs. Yes, the statement is true. If we heat something, the germs which are there could be killed. ECG stands for re electrocardiograph. So, ECG stands for electrocardiograph. Sorry, this is electrocardiograph. R is not here. ECG stands for, F-O-R, for electrocardiograph. 
So the statement is true. Yes, students, ECG stands for electrocardiograph. Now sixth, Cunan is used to cure malaria. Cunan is used to cure malaria. The statement is true. Yes, Cunan was a medicine discovered to cure malaria. Yes, Cunan is a plant. From that plant, Cunan plant, we, you know, doctors discovered Cunan medicine to cure malaria fever. Yes, malaria is caused because of when the mosquito bites. Yes, so what we have done today, students, we have done the book. We have done word power. We have done let us recall. We have done book exercise A, B, and C, right? And D we will do in the next class. Question answers we will do in the next coming class. So what what is the homework for you today, students? The homework for you today is do book exercise A, B, and C in social science book. Let us recall and word power in notebook. Okay, and in very neat and clean handwriting, you have to write let us recall and word power in the notebook notebook without any spelling mistakes. Yes. So with this, have a nice day, students, and enjoy your weekend. Yes.